the shared freedom. And I'm really appreciative of that moment go on. Um, Thank you very much. I have to catch you off the other same way I said. We have to get off the bus right now. We'll continue this afterwards, okay? Okay, well, I won't Everybody, let's get off the bus. We, all the all the extenders, get your luggage, please. Let's go. I'm not... I told her about this ahead of time, and she said it's okay to be cut off because yeah. of the bus station. Yeah, but that's true, but I just want to let you know that there's a group of us on this trip um, who've been asking questions and trying to engage and... Um, we have not been able to do that, and as a result, the five of us will be leaving um, as we get off the bus. We'll be going on a trip with Breaking the Silence to learn about the occupation um, from the perspectives of Palestinians thank and you, IDF thank soldiers. Thank you very much. Thank you guys. Um, Let's get off, please. You guys are the reason the world doesn't change. On, no, no, listen. Listen, come on, listen. Come on, no, really come on. And guess what? Come just go. On. Just go to Palestine. Want, just go. Because guess what's going to happen? They're recording you're gonna get for this killed, reason, you're gonna get killed, you're going to get raped. So essentially a group of us uh, who are on a birthright trip um, have been spending the last eight days um, really trying to participate, really having a transformative experience here in Israel, um, but we've been really disappointed on a number of occasions about the way that birthright has either completely erased the effects of the occupation or avoided our questions um, or, or spun things in a way that we felt were extremely biased. And we are now in the middle of trying to leave the trip um, because we feel like this education has not been what we were looking for. We came all the way across the world in order to see uh, what, what they keep telling us is our homeland. And to me, grappling with what what a homeland means to me means grappling with it in its, all of its complexity. And they haven't allowed us to do that. And we can talk a lot more about the different ways that that's happened on this trip. Um, and we've been documenting it. Um, but right now, uh, we're sort of in the middle of, of a transitional moment uh, where uh, we're leaving the birthright trip and people are reacting really strongly, uh, which I can understand um, because it's a big deal for us to be leaving the trip. But that's also why we decided to do it, because we feel like the world should know and that the American Jewish community and the youth, the young people of the American Jewish community should know that birthright is not providing the kind of education that we really need in this time of, of complex and entrenched politics and that, uh, that birthright is telling a one-sided story and it's not fair and that we, we deserve the truth. And so that's why we decided to leave. We're engaging with some of our fellow participants who are trying to understand why we're doing what we're doing. We built a lot of really deep relationships with them and we feel sad. It's a sacrifice for us to be leaving them uh, without getting to say a proper goodbye. But it feels important and it feels like a sacrifice worth taking because be because of how disappointed we've been in our experience and that it's not personal we love these people it's not personal to the tour guide he's done the best that he can to give us a good time but birthright as a whole structurally is, uh, is using a political agenda in order to educate thousands and thousands of American Jews and, it's, and it, of course everybody has agendas everybody has biases but is your agenda one of truth and exposing people to all of the knowledge that you can or is it an agenda of hiding the truth and of, of keeping secrets and people uh, and, and not letting people see the You suffered on this trip, and I don't want you to suffer on this trip. I want you to be happy. So that's why you should have went on, uh, you know, breaking the silence first. You shouldn't come, you shouldn't come on her. Right? It's not the right platform for you there. Right now we're walking in. In order to leave this trip, they're making us sign waivers, and we are appeasing them. While we're waiting, Bethany, can you tell us a little bit about why you're doing this? I want to be part of a Jewish community that can wrestle with the reality of their occupation and I was hoping to go on birthright and engage in that conversation and with the participants in some ways we did, right? We, we were able to have meaningful relationships with them but with the institution we weren't and I can't stand for that. It feels morally irresponsible to 
take part in an institution that's not willing to deal with the reality of occupied territories. Marissa, would you like to tell us a little bit about while you're here? Why you're here? Uh, um, I mean, I've I've always kind of struggled to connect with my Jewish identity, even though I'd really like to. And I think, um, especially seeing in the news lately, what's been going on in the occupied territories has made that even harder. Um, so I was hoping to come on this trip as a way to um, to you know really try to connect with my Jewish identity and Jewish values, um, and in a way where I could see the whole picture of Israel and um, <clears throat> and what Israel me means to Jewish values. Um, and I think it's important to acknowledge when others are being oppressed, and I was hoping to learn more about that, and it wasn't a conversation that was welcome here. Um, so now I am leaving um, so that we can go and see uh, that reality for ourselves um, in order to acknowledge what is going on here. Thank you, Marissa. Yeah, again, right now we're waiting for waivers to allow us to leave the trip. He has us waiting in the lobby. Danielle, would you like to share with us a little bit about why you're here? <clears throat> sure. I mean, I think for me, I mean, one of the participants just said something really telling, I think, which is that the whole point of Birthright is to get you to move to Israel, to fall in love with Israel. And I guess for me, like, it feels really disingenuous to, um, like, if you were dating someone, you would never only show them the good parts of yourself. You would want to show the whole complete picture of yourself so you know what people are getting into. And I just feel, I just feel sad that um, people who want to have that relationship with Israel are not really welcome on Birthright, and, um, and that Birthright isn't interested in, in providing that to, um, to 40,000 young American Jews per year. Um, I, you know, I, like my sister Marissa, have also struggled to feel connected to the Jewish community, and this has always been a reason why I feel like Judaism is so much about, like, looking back on our history, saying never again, and yet, um, and really holding solidarity for other groups of people, and it really just breaks my heart that so much of our, um, like, the biggest American Jewish youth institution birth, I can't do that. So... You know, and we we were here, this is day 10, you know, we were here for nine days. We really wanted to see if they would do that. We had faith that they would. Maybe that was naive, I don't know. Um, but we feel like before a trip ends, we, we need to, you know, we want to get the complete picture that Birthright isn't showing us. Again, right now, they're making us wait to sign the waivers before we can get on the bus with a group called Breaking the Silence in order to go and see the West Bank, because Birthright has not shown us what the occupation is.